Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm feeling kind of down, so I thought I would film a spring feel-good makeup tutorial. So I just finished my exams and I'm kind of still de-stressing my life a little bit. So to pick me up a little bit, I curled my hair, I ate a salad, I went outside in the sun for a little bit, and now I'm going to be doing my makeup. So I don't really have a plan for today's makeup look, but I know I want to go really bold on the lips. So I'm not really going to do any trends in this video. Um, I think I'm just going to do my own makeup that kind of just makes me feel good, so I hope you guys enjoy. So like always, I have a clean, dry, moisturized face, and today I'm actually going to prime. I have this Smashbox um, primer water um, that I've been trying out. Clearly, I've used quite a bit of it, um, so I'm just going to spray that on my face first. So for some reason, whenever I use this product, I always miss my face the first couple of sprays. So I really want my makeup to be glowing today, so I'm going to go in with my trusty NARS Sheer Glow. And I'm actually going to mix it in with this Benefit highlighter. This is um, Benefit's High Beam, and I'm just going to mix this in with my foundation and blend it in with a beauty blender. So I'm just shaking this up a little bit, then a little bit of High Beam. So I have... That's on my hands now, and I'm just going to swirl it together with the end of my beauty blender. And I'm just going to put it all over my face. So with my damp beauty blender, I am just dotting that all over my face, pushing it into the skin. I do have some redness and some spots to cover up, but I'll go in with concealer right after this. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Concealer, and it is in the shade Fair Neutral. And I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes. A lot of these products I've been loving recently, but I haven't been filming a lot of videos because of school and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I've been liking. So I kind of put it on in like a triangle shape underneath my eyes and I'm going to take the same beauty blender and dab that in. What I like doing with my concealer is um, like a conceal slash highlight type thing. So because I don't have too much redness underneath my eyes, um, I like taking my concealer all the way up into my hairline and it kind of just brightens up my under eye area a little bit even though I don't have like that greenish purpley darkness that a lot of people do get. So just using the tip I'm gently bouncing it underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna put a little bit around my nose because I know I tend to get a little bit of redness there throughout the day. So to warm up my face a little bit, I'm going to be using one of my favorite products at the moment, and this is the NYX Wonder Stick, and I'm going to be using the contour shade. Um, this is basically a cream contour stick, and I'm just going to start contouring my cheeks a little bit, starting from my hairline by my ear, and dragging that down a little bit. I'm going to do it on both sides, and then blend it in. In my past couple of videos, um, I've been telling you guys how I really love um, layering my contour lately, and that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm just starting off with a really good cream base, and then I'll go in with a powder on top. I'm also going to put this on my jawline as well, and on my forehead, and blend it all in. I feel like I haven't put on makeup in so long and this is feeling so nice right now. So now that I have a cream base, I'm going to go in with my favorite Hoola bronzer and I'm just going to take this on a Real Techniques multitask brush and kind of go over that cream contour we just put on to build up that color. I'm going in light circular motions, just trying to bronze up my face a little bit. And because I'm going layering crazy, I'm going to put one more bronzer on. This is the Hourglass Bronzer in the shade 
Luminous Bronze Light again on the same brush and I'm just going to go over the areas that the sun will naturally hit once again. You know what? I think I should just go all out. I'm going to go in with one more product. This is the NYX Blush in Taupe and I'm going to take this on a Morphe M527. Take that in the very far corner of my contour, right by my ear, to just add a little bit more depth. And with any excess, I'm just powdering over the whole face. So I'm going to come back and highlight a little bit later, but I'm just going to fill in my brows. This is the NYX Micro Brow, and I have it in the shade um, Ash Brown. And I'm just going to use this to fill in my brows a little bit. They're looking a little bit sparse. I did just pluck them, so they should be really easy to fill in. But my tails are a little bit short, if you can see that. So I'm just going to fill in where I have a little bit of sparseness and fill in my tail. Just with little baby strokes. I think this brow pencil is such a good dupe to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. These are so similar. This one is just slightly more waxy than the other one. But it's still really, really good. So as you can see, I'm kind of just extending the tail end of my brow a little bit farther to kind of make it match up a little bit better. So I'm going to go in with this Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I have it in the shade Medium Deep. I've had this for so long and I barely even used it. So I'm just wiping off any of the excess on this brush because it picks up so much product. And I'm lightly going to put this through my brows. I have been using this quite a lot, but I'm not sure if I like it in person. I think this looks a lot better when um, it's on camera or on film. I think the same thing about the Anastasia Brow Pomade. I think it looks amazing on camera and on film, but not so much in real life. So before I forget, I'm just going to set underneath my eyes, and I have this Bare Minerals um, Mineral Veil Powder, and I'm just going to take this on a Morphe M501 brush. I'm just going to swirl the brush um, in the cap over here and just set underneath my eyes. Oh, this powder is translucent so it can go over anything and not look incredibly cakey. So I don't know about you guys but I love using cream products on my eyes and today I have a Laura Mercier eye caviar stick. Um, I got this ages ago for Christmas and it is still going strong. This is in the color Amethyst and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. This is a gorgeous purpley um, brownie type shade. I'm just putting this all over my lid and then I'm just gonna buff it out. This is the Sigma E25 brush. This look is seriously so simple and it just makes me feel so much better and a little bit more alive because for the last couple of weeks I have been dead. Seriously, if you guys haven't tried any of these cream shadow sticks, like you need to get on that very quickly. These are just so convenient. I've been using um, the one in the shade Coco for a very long time, and it's just my go-to smoky eye. So I'm just putting that underneath my eye as well, and I'm just going to blend that out with the same brush. So I could stop there with the eyeshadow, but I have another shadow that I really, really want to use, and this is Urban Decay's eyeshadow in the shade Scratch. So just using a MAC 217, I'm just going to pick up a little bit and put it kind of in the inner corner of my eye. Um, I guess you can say inner third of my eye, just to brighten that up a little bit. And because we put the cream shadow on it, it's going to stick and it's just gonna be amazing. So I didn't even put anything in my crease, but the cream shadow just has a natural shadow to it. So I'm just gonna line my eyes quickly, and this is the Sephora brand eye crayon, and it is in the shade 14 Cocoa. 
So I'm not doing any um, sort of wing or anything, I'm just doing a very natural um, eyeliner look and I'm also going to put this in the waterline. I honestly love using brown eyeliners. I think it is just a really nice soft touch to your look instead of using a black. Now I'm going to go in with mascara and today I'm going to be trying a new mascara that I got. This is the NARS Audacious Mascara and I just got like a little sample of it. It is so cute. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. Then I'm going to go in quickly with this mascara and then I might put a waterproof on top. So I'm just putting a little bit of this Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara on top to seal it in. And I'm also going to do my bottom lashes with this mascara. So for highlight, I'm actually going to be using a Becca product and this is their Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Rose Gold. I just got this and it is so gorgeous and so pretty. I'm going to be taking this on the same um, Morphe brush that I used underneath my eyes. Take a little bit onto that brush and... Oh my god, that is so pretty. I'm just going to take a little bit through my brow bone as well. So I recently just picked up the new Gwen Stefani Urban Decay blush palette. I'm so excited about this. This is such a pretty palette. I literally love all of the colors in this, but I think I'm going to go in here with OC. And I just have this on a Morphe M438 brush. And I'm just putting that right on top of my contour and a little bit onto that highlight. I normally don't go for a lot of shimmer, but oh my gosh. This is a feel-good makeup tutorial anyways, and I am feeling amazing right now. And lastly, we have the lips, and I also have a few more products from the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay line. Um, and I have both the lipstick and the lip liner in the shade 714, so I'm going to go in with the lip liner first. I'm just going to quickly line my lips with this. So now that I have that on, I'm going to go in with lipstick as well. Um, this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous red color, um, and I love how it is completely matte as well. Oh my god, I love this color so much. Every time you feel down, just put on a red lipstick. You'll feel ten times better, trust me. I never actually thought to pair a red lip with pink eyes, but I think I am obsessed with this look. Retail therapy and makeup therapy are now totally a thing for me. Every time I feel down, I'm just going to put on a red lip and just rock it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a lot of videos planned coming out soon, so be sure to subscribe and check out all my other social media links. I have a ton of posts on my blog as well, so if you want to check that out, go to the link down below. But I think that is it for me today, guys. I will see you next time.